this is Jason with inflatableboarder.com and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Atoll 11 foot inflatable SUP. Now this model measures 11 feet by 32 inches by six inches. It weighs in at 19 pounds. This is actually the second version of this board. The previous version uh, was heavier. Uh, this version incorporated, uh, the company incorporated Fusion Technology, which reduced the weight significantly. As I mentioned, the board only weighs in at 19 pounds, so it's very, very lightweight, yet it's very, very stiff. The top deck of the board is covered by a nice EVA foam traction pad with a grippy uh, diamond pattern to it. Mid board is a heavy duty carrying handle that features a sewn in neoprene cover, which is soft and very comfortable. Along the edges of the traction pad are D-rings for attaching a kayak seat uh, or as additional tie-down points for securing gear. At the nose of the board are six additional stainless steel D-rings with a large bungee cord storage area. This is perfect, uh, obviously, for stashing a dry bag, backpack, uh, Crocs, your other paddling gear. The tail of the board is a high-quality Hauke Roberts style air valve, uh, as well as a convenient grab handle, which is perfect for pulling the board in and out of the water. There's also another D-ring for attaching uh, the included sup leash. Overall, this board is a really nice all-around board. It's an extremely popular choice when it comes to kind of mid-range inflatable paddle boards. It's great for doing flat water paddling, paddling around your dog or small children. It's also perfect for uh, overnight camping expeditions uh, and pretty much anything else you can imagine. Uh, the shape of the board is really nice. It's kind of a taper towards the nose of the board, which, which really helps it to cut through wind and chop well. Uh, and as I mentioned, the board is very, very stable in the water. On the underside of the board is a triple fin configuration. There are two smaller fixed side fins that are flexible and unbreakable, as well as a large center removable fin. The center removable fin features a universal fin box, which is great because you can swap out different fins to experiment with different fin configurations. The fin installs by simply dropping the fin into the channel sliding it into place, and then lining up the pin and the washer and screwing it down with your fingers. No tools are needed, which is super convenient, and installing uh, the fin is very, very quick and easy. Now let's talk for a minute about what's included with the board. First of all, you have the Atoll SUP backpack. This is a pretty basic travel backpack. As you can see, the sides of the backpack uh, are open. Uh, it's like a rubber plastic mesh material. Uh, obviously, this is, this is a, a good choice if, uh, if you're concerned about your board being put away wet. Uh, the, this allows the bag and the contents of the bag to dry really quickly. The top of the bag features the same basic design as most uh, dry bags. It has a roll top design with a locking buckle. There's also a, uh, a Velcro closure. Of course, the board comes with a, uh, a sub pump. This sub pump is a dual action model. It features a built-in pressure gauge to let you know exactly how much air is in your board as you're inflating it. As I mentioned, it's dual action, so uh, you can add air to it on the upstrokes and the downstrokes in the beginning of the inflation process, and then when things get more difficult, you just kick it over to the other mode uh, to finish it off. Uh, and this board, the recommended PSI is 15 PSI. The pump comes with, of course, the inflation hose. The board also comes with a coiled sup leash. The coiled sup leash features a padded Velcro ankle cuff. Uh, it's comfortable. It's, it's covered by a neoprene material, which is soft and comfortable. There's also, as most leashes come with these days, a hidden key storage pocket, which uh, closes with a Velcro closure. The ankle cuff is branded with a rubber sewn in Atoll uh, logo patch and there are stainless steel swivels on both ends of the leash to prevent tangles. Next up, let's talk about the included paddle. This board comes with a basic SUP paddle. It's a three-piece adjustable SUP paddle, has a uh, black uh, aluminum shaft, and it has a nylon blade. The blade has a lot more flex to it than uh, other paddles that we're used to seeing. And actually, our blade has some warp to it, it's higher here and lower down here. That could probably be fixed by applying, uh, applying some pressure, possibly uh, letting it sit out in the sun to heat up and then uh, applying some pressure and letting it cool. Maybe that would uh, straighten out the, the warp in the paddle blade. Not sure how much that really affects paddling performance, uh, but we thought we would mention it. As I mentioned, this is a pretty basic SUP paddle. It'll do the trick. Uh, but if you're going to be doing some serious paddling, we probably recommend upgrading the paddle. Uh, the paddle installs by simply lining up the pin with the pinhole. 
you depress the pin and slide it into place until it locks. And as you can see, it's uh, once that pin locks, it's very, very uh, reliable and there's no rotation at all. To assemble the top of the paddle, you simply slide the top of the paddle into place and then you close the locking mechanism. And once that's done, uh, it's very, very secure. When the paddle came straight out of the factory box, uh, there was a little bit of twisting because there's no pin lock on the top assembly of the paddle. Uh, so if that's the case and you ordered this board and you find that there's uh, some play as far as rotation of the top of the paddle is concerned, all you need to do is simply rotate the locking mechanism a few times and it will tighten this up and then once you close it, you'll see that it's very, very secure. Next up, the board comes with a, an Atoll Board Co. user manual. It's got some basic instructions as well as a pretty cool Atoll sticker. And last but not least, the board comes with an ISUP repair kit. This ISUP repair kit features a valve wrench, a tube of adhesive, and three PVC patches for doing repairs. And now let's show you a bit more about the backpack. On the front of the pack is a large uh, bungee cord storage area. It features a locking tie that you can use to tighten or loosen the bungee cord. On the flip side is a grab handle, as well as two lightly padded shoulder straps, and then a non-padded adjustable waist belt. So again, this is a really basic SUP backpack. It's not meant for any serious traveling. You certainly couldn't fly with this bag. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's not built to withstand the rigors of serious travel. This is basically a nice, lightweight, minimalist bag. That's a great way to transport your board to and from the beach. Uh, it makes it super convenient to throw in the car, keeps everything all together. And the sides of the bag, being that they're mesh, really allow the contents of the bag to dry quickly. So again, overall, this is a really nice board. It's very, very stable, paddles well in the water. It's a lot of fun. Uh, perfect for a variety of paddling conditions and activities. Uh, we really like the fact that the company included so many D-rings, uh, especially for an all-around board. This board has uh, an extraordinarily large number of D-rings, 15 in all. So there's plenty of available storage space on the deck of the board. If you want to add an additional bungee cord storage area at the tail, uh, lots of additional uh, potential tie down points for securing gear. We really like the fact that the bungee cord storage area at the nose is, is very, very large. Uh, it gives you plenty of space to, to stash bags and other gear. The grab handle at the tail of the board is really convenient when you're pulling the board in and out of the water. Uh, we like the location at the tail because it allows you to pick the board up from the tail and get the fins up off the beach so it doesn't damage the fins when you're pulling the board in and out of the water. We like the universal fin box as it gives you added versatility when it comes to swapping out different fins to experiment with different fin configurations. We also like the fact that they include everything that you need to start paddling in the SUP bundle. The included SUP bundle is pretty basic, but they do include everything that you need to start paddling. The company backs this board with a two-year warranty and they also give you a 60-day money-back guarantee. Uh, they're based out of Huntington Beach, California, by the way. Now, there are a couple things that uh, we don't like about the board. First of all, um, we would make the neoprene uh, cover on the carrying handle removable, which would make it better for things like SUP Fitness. It would allow you to make the handle more lay flat. Uh, previously, the fact that the board only came in one color was a downside because, as you can see, it has a military-inspired theme. Definitely not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, and certainly not something that appeals to female paddlers. And so the company has recently introduced two new color combinations of this board. One is blue and one is red. Both look really great and they give you some nice optional colors uh, to pick from. So that does it for our review of the Atoll 11 foot inflatable SUP. If you've got any questions about the board, post them in the comments area below. We'll make sure to get all of your questions answered. Also, if you'd like to get additional information on this board or to check the current price, visit inflatableboarder.com slash Atoll 11. Again, that link is www.inflatableboarder.com com slash atoll 11. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that does it for today. Happy paddling.